Yo, what's up? All right, so I'm going to make this short and sweet, hopefully. Short as possible. How to make money selling watches on eBay. Anybody can do it. Don't have to know nothing about watches at all. I'm going to give it to you here. Um, make it as simple as possible. All right, so um, aside from the fact that people use cell phones now to tell time and uh there's people like myself who wear watches and don't even use them for the time. It's just an accessory. There's a huge market for watches. People, there's a ton of people that collect watches and there's a ton of watches being sold. Um, it's immense. So if you've never checked into the watch market on eBay, take a second and do that. Just scroll through, take into account how many listings there are, you know, and whatever not, what stuff's selling for this and that, okay? Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. So um, I'm just going to really quickly jump right into this, okay? Watches, I'm just going to type that into the top here on eBay. Um, if you look at the amount of listings we have, we have 1,700,000 odd listings. <clears throat> if we go up here to the side um, to sort and sort by time ending soonest, um, you'll see here, let's see, and right now is probably a bad time of the day, but it's all right. Um, if you look at here, the time left, 33 seconds, 38 seconds, 37, 36 41. So if you look at a 10 second span, in a matter of 10 seconds, so from 31 to, f to okay, right there. So we have, I mean, there's literally pretty much, depending on the time of the day you go on, my point is that um, there's anywhere from 1 to 15 listings ending per second in watches. So point is, is that there's a huge market for watches, and there's a lot of watches being sold, and there's a lot of watches to pick from, and there's a lot of watches... Um, <clears throat> being bought so um and again this is a uh, selling watches this is playing into the idea of if you have not already been doing this is buying online and then reselling online so if you're you know already um a, a picker or you know if you're if you're in a reselling business online and um you have not taken your business to the um buying online and then reselling online aspect as in you're just picking locally and you're reselling online um and you do want to take your um business to this you know um avenue it's something which if you're not doing you should eventually do i mean it's just um it's not so much inevitable as much as it's um it's just you know it just takes your business to the next level it's one more avenue for you to exploit for you to get potential profit and it's kind of cool because you can kind of pick from the comfort of your own home which is always nice and picking watches is a lot of fun it's one of my favorite things to do and i've made a ton of money doing this okay now um and i'm not going to play into this much and the reason that you can this works so well is first off because if you type in up here um we're going to type in a lot of watches, okay? First off is a lot of people don't know how to take the back off of a watch. Now, um, if you don't know how, it's probably because you've never actually given it a fair chance. Um, taking the back off of a watch is about as easy as um, opening up a can of soda. Anybody who gives a legitimate shot can do it, and in probably in about 10 minutes, you can honestly take the back off of 99% of watches, okay? Um, without any special tools, okay? Okay. Um, I'll make one more follow-up video that shows exactly what I mean, all right? But for now, just don't even worry about that part because trust me, I guarantee you there's nobody out there unless you don't have limbs that can't take the back of a watch, very simply, okay, and put it back on as well, all right? And is, and popping the battery out just as easy. Like I said, I'll show you that later, all right? Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, what the hell? You know, watch batteries are like, like six bucks a piece or eight bucks a piece. That's kind of expensive. Well, guess what? If you've never done this and checked out it on eBay, um, you can buy packs of about 10 batteries um, for watch batteries for about a dollar to two dollars shipped. Um, so meaning you can buy a 10 pack of watch batteries for 10, a 10 pack of watch batteries shipped for about less than two dollars. Okay. Which is huge because if you go to Walmart to get the same battery, it's going to cost like six bucks a piece. All right. So that being said, um, Majority of non-working watches that you run into, and they're everywhere. There's there's just millions and millions of them out there. I'm sure everybody has at least one or two watches that they've owned or whatever in like a drawer somewhere that's not working, and it's only not working because it doesn't have a battery. And believe it or not, like I don't know, honestly, from my experience, and I've I messed with a ton. I'm talking a ton of watches. Um, probably I'd say at on the conservative side, eighty percent of all ba watches that are not running are not running due to the fact that they don't have a running battery. That's it. All they need is a new battery, and they run like new, okay? Unless they've already been picked through by somebody else, that's going to be the case almost every time, all right? Now, 
the interesting thing is, is you can, if you type in lots of watches, um, and you can, uh, you're going to have to kind of sift through a little bit sometimes, but um, you'll begin to notice very quickly that you can pick up a ton of watches that are non-running for about, you know, uh, give or take a buck or two a piece. Literally, I've picked them up for, I picked up, if you search and dig, I picked up a lot for a, a lot less than that even. Um, let me see here real quick. Let's see. Okay, well, let's just really quickly stop here. Here's a lot of five watches. One, two, three, four, five. For five bucks. Zero bids. There's probably some shipping on it. Let's see if we can find them even better. Here's one right here. A lot of 14 watches. Citizen, Railroad, Jules Jurgensen. Okay, these are good brands here. Pulsar. Okay, that's uh, 14 watches for 15 bucks. Start buy it now at 20 bucks. If you bought it, buy it now. Let's check it out real quick. 20 bucks. If you took the buy it now, which I guarantee you, if you bid on it, uh, you can pick it up for, I bet you no one will bid on this one. I bet you because you got it priced pretty high. So what I'm saying is 15 bucks plus $10 shipping, which is $25 for 14 watches is less than $2 a watch. And that's considered, in my opinion, to be on the spendy side to where if you were to bid on this lot, you would have no competition. Okay. I can almost guarantee you that there's only one person watching. This is only six hours left. All right. Let's see what the circumstances are here to make sure that when you're looking at these lots that you're, you know, reading into why it is that they're, you know, what's wrong with them. If they've already been picked through, if they don't know, they may just need new batteries, whatever or not. Um, and good brands also, obviously. Um, okay, so none of these watches are in working order at this time. They may just need new batteries. Please take a look at my other items. Da, da, da. Okay, so pretty much if you take a gamble on these and Citizen is a really good brand. Pulsar is a good brand. Jurgens is not a bad brand. <clears throat> a bad brand. Um, these look like they're pretty decent watches. Um, Timex is really good also, obviously. Um, if you got, let's say if you pick this slot up, you know, and again, you'd be picking that up for, let's say you got it for the 15 with the 10, that's 25, 14 watches. You're paying like about a buck. You can't lose at a buck 50 a watch, okay? Let's just say um, of the 14, 10 of them worked with the new battery, four of them didn't. You, you kept the other four for parts later on down the road. That's 10 running batteries you have now to make $25 on your money back, all right? Now you have a citizen in here. Um, all citizens running women's watches are going to guarantee, I don't say you can get less than, you can get roughly 10 to $10 and up to 20 and on up from there. Um, Timexes go easily from nine bucks and up. Um, Pulsars go from $8 up to 20 some dollars. It just depends or more. Um, you would have no money, eat, no, no problem doubling your money up. Now, I just want to make clear that I'm not suggesting that, um, go full time selling watches, but it's just another really fun, cool avenue for you to, um, exploit and uh, make more money off of and uh, it's just one more thing that you could use for your inventory you know and uh um, and it's just really simple and again you'd be taking these you know and cleaning them up and uh you know throwing a new battery in them whatever not and listening to them individually okay really easy to do like there's a huge market i mean literally um a decent earning watch it, they if you, as long as you take decent photos they sell and you know how to make listings properly um they sell themselves. Citizen, um, Pulsar. I'll make a list of watches that you want to look out for for brand names, like a cheat sheet, you know, and you can watch for these brand names because you want the right brands, obviously. Timex, especially Indiglo, that stuff sells really well. Men's watches really bring high dollar. Um, unfortunately, if there's any dudes out there that want to just do men's watches, you're going to be finding yourself running into lots of women's watches. I'm not sure why that is, but women's watches flood the market, um, and there's tons of them. And if you really want to make the best money doing this, uh, you know, and be the most cost effective and get the best bang for your buck. Women's watches is going to be where it's at for you. So women's watches, it's, you know, look for it all, but you'll see a lot of good mixes, but you got to dig, just type in lots of watches and dig. All right. And just start looking for good ones that appeal to you. Um, that look like you can get a good value, you know, you figure out in your own head, you know, on your own, you know, what your budget is, how much you want to toss into this and whatever, not, and go from there. Literally just pick up a lot and just get them. And uh, whatever, shoot me a message or something if you want. I'll, I'll make another video, you know, uh, into more depth if necessary. But I don't want to make something as a drug out and um, annoying. So, okay, so you're probably thinking yet, okay, batteries. What do I need for batteries? There's a ton of different kinds of batteries. Yeah, you're right. There is a crap load of different kinds of batteries, right? I'm going to give you four batteries that are going to pretty much cover, um, uh, I'd say, at least 80% of the watches you run into, okay? If you run into a, bat a watch that you have that one of these four batteries does not fit into, just pull the old one out and go order one immediately online that is the one you need, obviously, and then just set that watch aside and move it forward, okay? And uh, <clears throat> like I said, there's you can pick them up for a buck or two for a pack of 10, all right? So I'm going to give you four watch batteries. You can pick up a pack of 
four. You could pe- pick up a pack of like ten of each one of these four for like le- for about five bucks. Literally, all of them ship to your house. So basically, five bucks gets you all the batteries you need to f- to fit like fifty watches. Okay, um, and then just go find your lot. So literally, for the five bucks to get all the batteries you need, and then probably your first lot you can pick up for you know less than twenty bucks. I mean, you literally pretty much just jumped in the watch game. All right, really easy. Okay, so here's the four watches, or I'm sorry, the four batteries you're going to need, okay? First one is called AG4, okay? Next one is LR63. Next one is CR1216. And the last one is LR927. Okay, so that's AG4, LR63, CR1216, and then LR927, okay? Those four, that's it. Go pick those up right away. It's less than a five dollar investment. Just get them, you know. Whatever. Just who cares? It's less than five bucks. Just pick that up. And as soon as you got those, you know, you're ready to ro- you're ready to roll, basically. Um, so, um, like I said I'll make a little cheat sheet for um, what brand names you want to look for. This is gonna be like a list of like um, less than twenty names, probably like I don't know a dozen or so names that are gonna be your go to names. These brand names I'm gonna give you are the brand names that literally, as long as they're running in decent shape, they sell every single time. Okay, these are watch brand names that have huge markets that people specifically look for. Um, that liter- they, they pretty much sell every single time. Um, uh, is, you know, as long as you don't start your listings out at a high dollar. Watches are one of those things. Like I said, they sell themselves. So you can literally, if you have a nice watch, you can start it out at ninety nine cents and just let it ride. That's what I do with almost all my watches because I don't even worry. They will sell themselves, and if it's a nice watch that people want, they will bid it up themselves. Don't worry about people just waiting until the end. Someone will – just don't worry. They will sell themselves. Trust me. Just don't price your stuff too high off the get-go. That's something you never want to do on eBay as far as I'm concerned unless um, making a fast flip is not in your concern. Then you can do whatever you want. But if your idea is to, you know, get it, flip it, and, uh, you know, move it quick, then that's definitely what you want to do. Price it low. Don't worry. They'll sell themselves. you got the right brands, and you got nice watches, okay? So – Whatever. Um, that's probably enough for, for now. I'll shoot another video showing you how exactly to get the back off a watch. That's really easy. And, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully somebody gives us a, give, a go and uh, jump into the market, man. I'm telling you, it's huge. And uh, there's, um, there's just really no limit to how much a ton. You, I mean, trust me, you can make a ton of money. I made a crap load of money doing this. And uh, uh, there's plenty of room for other people to jump in on this, uh, believe me. So, um, like I said, dig into the watch market. Check it out. And, uh, you know, just don't forget that every market you get into on eBay, if you're an eBay seller um, and you, you're you a pretty experienced seller, then you probably know just as well as anybody else that is that um, each market is its own. You know, if you sell glass, I mean, just because you're an experienced eBay seller doesn't mean that you can you know, jump right into glass and, and uh, know the ins and outs of glass. Each market is its own. It's, a, you know, it's its own beast, you know, so you got to learn each one individually. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the fun of it, you know. You can get well versed in many different markets and make yourself more versatile and um, really open up the doors uh, for what you can and can't make a good uh, profit off of selling on eBay and other selling platforms. One nice thing about eBay, and if you're not selling on more than one platform, you definitely should be, and uh, or at least look into it. You know, um, watches is nice for eBay because you can sell watches on eBay. On Amazon, you cannot do that, especially not used watches. So. In fact, you can't sell used watches at all on the Amazon, and if you did want to sell watches, they'd have to be new, and you'd have to get pre-approved to sell in that department. So um, it's just one of the more reasons that utilizing more than one um, selling platform, if you're going to be selling online full-time or thinking about it, that you definitely want to be looking into and uh, definitely want to be taking advantage of because, again, it only just makes you that much more versatile. So um, definitely get into all that stuff, and it's all good and it's fun stuff. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later and shoot another video, hopefully. Maybe if anybody watches this one, we'll see. Peace out.